Yeah, very much. Well, with Espo, Espo, uh, again, gregarious personality, <laughs> loved to have fun, would not go to the rink in the morning for a morning skate. No, Sam, you do that. And, uh, you know, he didn't, I would say, 90% 90, 90 of the time, he didn't know half the players on the ice during the game. Where'd this guy come from, Sam? Where'd they get this guy? But so that was my job. With him, as soon as the puck was dropped, I knew he knew the hows and whys yeah. of the game. And, uh, it, and he loved to have fun. One time we were in Montreal, and there was a, a delay on the ice. And I said, the what do you think we should do, uh, Phil? And he said, let's schmooze. So, you know, we schmoozed <laughs> until until they dropped the puck again. So we had a lot of fun. Uh, J.D. is the gold standard yes. of broadcasters in hockey. He set the standard because he related to everyone at every level. He helped teach the game. I can't tell you how many people would come up to me Jim and say, you know, I learned the game of hockey listening to you and JD. And JD was the man. I mean, he he knew it, but it related to the fans, related to the players. He spoke to them on their level, related to executives, which he became, related to ownership. Um, he he just set the standard. And Joe Micheletti is right out of that mold. Yeah. Joe has his little yellow sheets of paper that he folds up and he scribbles his notes, which you can't decipher. You, you can't, nobody could read it except him. And he's got all the notes that he needs to relate the game uh, perfectly to the fans. And again, another person, players know him. Uh, he's worked in different scenarios, working the sideline, working at ice level, working up in the booth. Um, so the players know him. He knows the game inside out and is able to present it in such a fashion where I don't have to worry about it. I know, he, you know, when I, if I stop talking, Joe will jump in with something relevant to what's going on because he's seeing the big picture. And that's been the good fortune. And then, of course, I do want to throw in, Jim, a little Dave Maloney that I've oh, heard yeah. on radio, and you know Dave. Yeah. He's, he doesn't just bleed. He explodes <laughs> Ranger Blue. And if the referee makes a bad call, he's pounding on the table. And if a player makes a bad play, go, what is he doing? But, uh, no, I've been blessed that way to have uh, great, great partners at MSG Network, and it's made my job so much easier because you don't have to worry about the guy next to you. You know he's got it down.